name's Louise Hout and welcome to the Game On Show here now on the My Intent platform. If you're not familiar with My Intent, it is a platform that was set up during this quarantine period to give people a place to go to be in community with others. And there's lots of different programming that you can expect to see on the platform, whether that's meditations or yoga, fitness exercises, through to coaches with the Hoffman Institute, with people from Tony Robbins. There's dance classes going on there too. And then just before this one, there was a, a coaching session on how to date in the pandemic, which I haven't been able to check out yet. But seeing as this is our last game on, maybe I'll check it out next week. I have a feeling it's going to be quite an interesting session to tune into. Um, so we have an hour's worth of games here for you now. Two team captains are going to be playing along with us and I'll introduce them very shortly to you all. Hopefully it's going to be a fun one. There's going to be lots of laughs and lots of participation from all of you as well. I'd love to say hello to some of our audience before we get going, see where in the world you're joining us from. If anybody wants to unmute their mic and say hello, that would be lovely. Who do we have joining us today? Nobody wants to say hello. Everybody's feeling a little shy. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Michael. How are you? <laughs> hello. Hi, Michael. How are you? Look, two Michaels in the house. <laughs> <laughs> we know where it's at. <laughs> yeah, thank you both for being here. Great to have you both with us. Uh, lovely to see some familiar faces there as well. Um, can anybody tell me what their favorite game is that they like to play? Other than Game On, of course. Mm. No? No one's got a favorite game? Well, today on the show, we've got a choice of a number of different games, and you, the audience, get to choose which one you want to play. Cards Against Humanity, Nancy said. That is a good one, isn't it? A word game. Um, I haven't played that in a long time but it is a good fun one to, to bring in the giggles. I never win that one. I think that's probably why I don't like playing it. Nobody likes my sense of humor or my answers. <laughs> well, we've got some old school games going on here today. We've got um, charades, Pictionary, Hangman. There's a word association game. There's a memory game. And then our two team captains will go head to head at the end in a game of their well, in a game where they have to build a tower in the quickest time possible. Uh, Michael, who is with us actually, was on the show a few weeks ago, so it's great that he's back because he can check out. And I won. You, you did win. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Not taking part, winning. <laughs> Well, I see one of our team captains has joined us now, and that is Noel Rosencrantz. So thank you so much for joining us, Noel. Great to have you with us on the show this afternoon. How are you? I'm great. Great to be here. Good. And where are you joining us from? I'm joining you guys from my house. Um, <laughs> I was actually just at a pool earlier because uh, it's my day off and hanging out with some friends who happen to be here on the Zoom. What's up, Scott and Claudia? Um, obviously in masks, obviously fully socially distanced, no need to worry <laughs> anyone. Um, but yeah, and now we're in my house in case you guys okay. can't see. Well, how nice that you've got a pool that you can go to. Hopefully you're all social distanced and wearing masks as well. Okay. Yeah, and a hazmat suit actually in the pool just to be a little bit more safe. Okay, good, good. good <laughs> <laughs> well, Noel, do you want to tell us a little bit more about um, what you've been up to during this period of time? Because your work has kind of still been continuous, but it's shifted slightly. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, basically when COVID happened, right before COVID happened, it sort of seemed like, uh-oh, this is going to be horrible for the world, for people's jobs, et cetera. Um, and then obviously my work, I anticipated there was gonna be a little bit of an effect uh, since I'm an exec executive coach and trainer. So I often do like live trainings with companies, uh, very interactive, not socially distanced. Um, and then I work with people one-on-one uh, -on -one and do like executive coaching, business coaching, finance, personal growth. Um, and that all converted to Zoom. So that's actually, been nice but I mean I think I've been spending the last couple months one 
trying not to go totally bonkers and crazy uh, to trying to support other people who are trying not to go crazy. Uh, and then just trying to be like, take a long-term view of it and, and we're gonna be in it for a while and just try to you know, take one day at a time and be like, okay, it's, it's a hard time for everyone, so. Well, it's great you said about trying to support other people who are going through it in a different way. You were offering um, some complimentary classes or sessions with you at the beginning of this yeah. uh, lockdown period, weren't you? Which was, which was really good. Yeah, yeah, and I've still tried to do that. Like I basically have been doing, I know that people are kind of struggling. Um, so I've been offering that, continuing to offer that. So if someone needs that, I'm happy, happy to help. But it's also kind of things that pick back up. So, which has been nice, but everyone kind of needs support during this time. So. find a new way of doing it. Well, I tell you, Australia seemed to be managing quite well. And our other team captain that we have on the show today is actually from Australia. Andrew, you're here with us. Thank you so much for joining. Good day, Hello, Louise. Down under. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, I can see a question already in the chat come through saying, is Andrew wearing his pajama pants to the show today? Do you want to explain about your pants? How about you explain? Oh, it's <laughs> your, your brand. version. It's your brand. Yeah, I, 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 call them, I call them party pants because I think that that's the most fun thing. But that's not the official name. The official name is Bondi. Bondi pants, right? Bondi well, party. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fair to be a little confused. Yeah, the brand started off as Party Pants, an Australian company, and then I uh, realised the Americans had a identical name, and they they beat me to their punch. So I ended up having a meeting with them last year when I was in LA. I'm a, I'm based in Sydney near Bondi Beach, and so I ended up renaming the brand as Bondi Party Co. So they were initially Party Pants. I'll give you a little look with the logo on the bar. Uh, with a bunch of fun prints, lightweight cotton, bit of stretch, men's and women's. And now I'm offering more of a mini skirts, shorts. I've got what we call tracky dacks or sweatpants in America on their way. So yeah, Bondi Party Co. It's just a bit of fun. It's uh, too often, particularly for males, we're limited to denim jeans and it's too hot in Australia and various parts of the world, um, including California and the like. So I created something that's just light and fun, something different. Oh, well, they're fantastic. I love them. They're, they're my favorite, um, the ones that you're wearing right now. Some of the okay. others are a lot more colorful, which are great actually for summer, but they, they, they go, go very well with your sweater that you're wearing right now. Yeah, thank you. But um, Andrew McIver, I say it correctly, right? That's correct. Um, you are also a host and an actor. So how has things been for you recently with the lockdown? Have things still been in operation over there? Uh, fortunately, Things are relatively in control here. We've just had a big outbreak in our southern state, uh, main city, Melbourne. Uh, but otherwise, it's, it's almost back to normal. I've been on set a few times recently and there's certain protocols, wearing masks and sanitising, keeping distance. But um, things are starting to pick back up here, which is, which is great for our industry. In fact, I auditioned for an American beer commercial the other week um, because, I uh, well, Two, twofold, the Australian dollar is not as strong as the American, so they can capture content here, but also, you know, we're, we're back to almost the way things were. So I can only hope that there's not another major outbreak and um, we can continue being an island as we are down under. We, we can control our um, travel within, within both internally and allowing or minimising foreign visitors, which is sad, you know, the great thing about particularly I love 2019 was you could just jump on a plane and be anywhere in the world and meet people. And, and now we're, we're resorting to using technology, which is good. And um, you can chat to people from the comfort of your own home. But overall, things are starting to get back to normal here, fortunately. And I can only hope that we don't have another major outbreak. But yeah, work, work is happening once again. 
Well, that is good for you, definitely. And I'd love to sort of almost do an American team and a, an Australian team here, you know, just to go head to head with, with our two team captains today. But I think the fairest way is going to be to continue as we have done in all of the other games. And that is to split up our audience into two teams by their names. So everybody who's got a name beginning with the letters A through to K are going to be on team A. And then everybody with L through to Z is going to be on team B. And and if you're wondering why that's not M and N and just to make it nice and even, it's because whose name actually begins with Q, X, Y, or Z. So it's a little unbalanced and that's why we shifted it forward a little bit this time. You're going to tell me now that you know somebody with a, a name beginning with those letters, aren't you? Know, I can see your, you know, yeah, yeah. My, my name is actually pronounced with a silent X at the beginning of it. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> now, Noel, although you are an executive coach, you uh, do you like a bit of comedy in your spare time. Do you want to tell us about the improv you have been doing? Yeah, uh, sure. So I do uh, improv with a, a team called Consenting Adults. And actually, one of the things they've done is they've brought it on the line, which is a tough medium, not going to lie. Uh, I'm not sure I'd recommend it, but... Um, it's definitely fun to just kind of get up on stage and throw around a few ideas and have some fun. So I'm not sure this isn't really improv, but this will kind of be fun and it's games and should be a good time. Definitely should be a good time. I think we're in for a lot of fun in this next uh, 40 minutes. Uh, that's how long the games will last. And then we'll have 15, well, five minutes at the end to just wrap things up. We'll have a bit of time for a Q&A with the audience as well. So let me tell you a little bit about the games that we're going to play. Um, our first round is a trivia round, whereby our two teams in the audience get to answer all of the questions that they see on the screen via a poll that we have set up through Zoom. So you'll answer the question, that will come through, and then the team captain will decide whether they want to go with the audience or they want to veto that audience's answer because they don't trust the team and they want to go with their own answer. Um, so that's the first round, you have five questions each and then we have a bonus question to see if you want to catch up or can catch up. And in the bonus question, anybody can answer. There's no poll and you just have to unmute your mic and shout out the answer as quick as possible. Or of course, put it in the chat, I have the the chat there ready uh, and I love the chat by the way going on about the, all of the pants that people are wearing and we have Naomi there saying that nappies rule in this house or should they say diapers so <laughs> um, it's very good and Noel you want to go change so we could see yours uh, you know yeah 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 <laughs> guys yeah it'll take me about an hour don't worry about it <laughs> Well, mine are black, so very boring. You don't need to see those. Um, so the second round that we're playing today is head-to-head, -head, and our audience are going to actually decide who, which game we're going to play in that. You're going to see a selection of games coming up on the screen, and then you'll get to choose which one we play. Team A will get to choose one time, and then Team B will get to choose. So as team captains, you can decide if you want to give your team a little bit of a heads up on which types of games you're good at. And then in the third round, our two team captains get to go head to head and build the tallest tower that they possibly can in the quickest amount of time with some of the equipment that I asked them to bring with them. So that's the style of the game. A couple of bonus questions thrown in there so you can catch up with each other and make it nice and fun as we go on throughout this next 45 minutes. Do you want to tell me what kind of games you're good at playing, Noel? Uh, I mean, hopefully all of them, but uh, I've been told that I'm terrible at drawing pictures in Pictionary, but I still like it. Um, <laughs> I tend to make up with it with energy. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'd probably be all right with any of these games. We'll see, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll get spanked. We'll see. We shall see. What about you, Andrew? What's your forte when it comes to games? Uh, to be honest, I haven't played games in a long time. So uh, it's, it's just random, we'll see what happens. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, um, we do have Nancy there who said that one of her favorite games was Cards Against Humanity. Mm. So that's a good kind of mind word game. We'll see how you will get on with the trivia. So as I said, um, teams are gonna be split up if you, by the name. So if you're in the audience and your name starts with the letters A through to K, you're gonna be on team A. And team B is L through to Z. Now I'm going to spin this coin and that's gonna decipher whether Andrew or Noel is going to be team captain for team A. 
So heads is going to be Noel and tails is going to be Andrew. So one, two, three. Is that because of the pants? <laughs> what did you say? Is that because of the pants I get tails? Yes, that's <laughs> right. Two or four. And it's heads. So Noel, you are going to be team captain for team A and Andrew, you have team B to run and hopefully um, win. Who knows? I've got my pen, I've got my paper ready to keep score and we're going to start with our first round today in our last game of Game On on the My Intent platform. First round is our quarantine quiz and we're going to get our first question up on the screen for team A. So team A is Knowles mm -hmm. and here it is. Which fruits have 0% sugar? Is it A, lemons, B, avocados, or C, olives? Lemons, avocados, or olives? So everybody in team A, please answer the question right now. Oh, you only have 10 seconds to answer that question, so do get your fingers there ready to do it. And we'll bring right. up the answers right now. Here's the answers. Oh, and Noel, you've got a hard one to start off with because your team was split between avocados and olives. What do you think it is? What do you want to go um, with? I'm gonna go with olives, even though I'm not sure they're a fruit. I feel like avocados are a fruit. I guess they all come from trees. So I'll go with olives. Olives would be yep. the correct answer. Okay, good. Well, nice well. team. Amazing. One point to team A. Okay, team B, can you stay a level with team A? Here's your question. What color is a Cortland apple? Is it red, green, or yellow? A, red, B, green, or C, yellow? It's almost team like if no one knows the answer, don't tick any. And if you know the answer, definitely tick it. Okay, good sense? strategy. Well, 75% of your team have said yellow, Andrew. I've never even heard of a Cortland apple, so um, I think I'm going to go with my team and, and pick whatever yellow was. Was that I kind of lost the poll? <laughs> was it me? I've never seen a yellow apple, I have to say. The answer is green. It is oh, no. oh, no, I lie. I'm sorry. The answer is red. <laughs> sorry, I'm down at the wrong thing. The answer is We're red. Wrong. <laughs> so both wrong, I'm afraid. Uh, but don't worry, many more questions still to go within round one. Okay, Team A, what was the most popular social media app in the United States as of late 2019? Was it A, Twitter, B, Facebook, or C, Snapchat? Team A, get those answers in. Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat? What do you think? What was the most popular social media app? Noel, have you got an idea? <coughs> Well, maybe based on the, oof. Team of Twitter. Filmic Twitter. I'm not sure. I, I, this is, all right. I think I want to go with my team because my team is amazing and I trust them unconditionally. But I think the phrasing of the question is as of late 2019. So I'm going to say Snapchat because it was kind of IPOing. Is that right? Snapchat's your final answer? Yeah. Actually, the answer is Facebook. So 29% of your team were correct. Mm, mm. Okay, there, I'm afraid. But don't worry, you're still in the lead with one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> How many posts are made on Instagram each day, Team B? Is it A, 95 million, B, 120 million, or C, 75 million? What do you think, Team B? <laughs> Nancy says, Andrew, don't party too hard in those pants because we need to win. <laughs> well, if we win, I will. we we'll celebrate. <laughs> well, your team have gone with 95 million. Yeah, that, that, that's splitting the difference. Today. I think that's what I'll do too. So I'll stick in 95 million. Which you will be do. correct. Well done. Cool. Point to team B, which means you are neck and neck at the end of two questions. Let's bring mm. up that third question for team A. How much of your body weight is blood? A couple of biology questions coming up for you both now. 15%, 8% or 12%? I think we always have much more blood than we realize in our bodies, don't we? Oh, it's a tough one. What's your team going with? It looks like, looks like, I think 12%. 
12 percent. I mean, I'm going to trust my team because my team would never steer me wrong. 12 percent it is. It is 8 percent. I do apologize. Um, Ooh, Louise misled us. I like that. That was good. Tricky. Oh, these are your questions. I didn't agree with you. <laughs> Only in if you got it wrong. Okay, how much of your body weight is skin? This is for Team B. 11%, 19%, or 15%? No idea. <laughs> no, we have layers of skin. We're covered in it, but uh, in how much it weighs. I know. It's, it's a challenging question. Yeah, we're splitting the difference again, it seems. Um, well, they come with 15%, your team. What do you think? I'm, I'm actually thinking, is it blood's only that much? Got muscle that weighs a lot, bone. Whoa, I'm actually thinking I might take a risk and go the 10% option, which is 11, 10% of the people have said. So let's go, I want to go with 11%. Well, I'm afraid your team were correct. Oh, no. That's the answer. Well done, Team B. Your team captain oh. <laughs> didn't quite follow through, but you got it right. <laughs> we're still one on one here. Let's see how we do as we go into question four for Team A. Where is India's first underwater train plan to be launched? Is it Calcutta, Mumbai, or New Delhi? Whoa. Who knows about India's first underwater train? It's a challenging question. Everyone's gone with Mumbai so far. Yeah, I'm going to go Mumbai, Bombay. That feels like the right call. Oh, you for sure. 50, 50 for your team. Oh, You're wait, is that? I didn't see the poll. Can I see the poll oh, again? Yeah, that's, it. that's um, the results there. Mumbai and Mumbai. Delhi being the most populous cities. Um, I'm going to go Mumbai. That feels, that feels like it's speaking to Team A. Well, Team A, the answer was actually A. So I'm afraid Mumbai and New Delhi were both incorrect. Hard to believe. So you know, he's taken a risk and gone against everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> We have a chance now. This is the question for Team B. How many yellow cabs are there in NYC? Over 17,000, 13,000, or 19,000? Some challenging right, questions. Team, I'm going to listen to you this time. <laughs> okay. 17,000, 13,000, or 19,000? How many yellow cabs are there in NYC? Well, there'd be less now because of Uber, but. <laughs> Is true. All right, what were you saying? Come on, Steve. We've got a split um, audience seven, between 17,000 and 19,000. Can I see that? All right, here we go. Split. Ooh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it safe again and play the middle, middle number, which is 17,000, please. Okay, well, um, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Um, actually, the answer was 13,000, just over 13,000, which 25% of your team got correct there. Um, okay, two questions to go in this first round today. Which birds were worshipped like gods by the Mayans? Was it ducks, chickens, or turkeys? Ducks, chickens, or turkeys? I mean, the irony is that I'm a religious studies major, and I have no idea about which birds these are. Uh, well, the Mayans worshipped, but I, I'm assuming it wasn't ducks. Um, chickens? Oh, man. I, I mean, my team is going to lead me to the promised land here because it's an epic team, and I believe in them. But let's see. They've okay, got chick chickens. Okay, and ducks. I wonder if they're thinking turkeys and Thanksgiving. Interesting. Um, and Mayans clearly connect to the native uh, bird-like population, which tends to be duck and chickens, ergo. I like the we'll thought go, process going on here now. We'll go, yeah, I mean, so it's two, right? It's chickens. I'll go chickens and ducks because I, I believe. Well, no, the options are ducks, chickens, or turkeys. That's A, B, Oh, I have to choose. Okay, yeah. chickens. Chickens is what your team went with, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that feels right. Can you not see the poll on your screen, just so I can check? Yeah, it, it pops up and then it disappears. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, sorry. 
Yes, your team went with chickens. Um, well, I'm afraid chickens is incorrect. The answer was actually turkeys. That we all have for Thanksgiving and for Christmas in some countries. Um, but not to worry, not to worry. Let's go with the last question for team B. What did the Sullivan Ordinance ban women from doing in public in 1908 in NYC? Was it A, trying on clothes when shopping, B, smoking cigarettes, or C, jogging? What oh, man. I feel like it could be jogging. Your team have gone with smoking cigarettes. 50% of your team there. Pat, what do you think? I'm going to go with smoking cigarettes then. <laughs> it was actually putting on clothes while shopping. <laughs> That was the answer, but don't worry because both of you are still head to head here. You still both got one point at the end of round one. And now we have a bonus question. And in the bonus question, it goes to anybody who unmutes their microphone and shouts out team A or team B, first of all. So as soon as the question appears on the screen, feel free to unmute your mic, shout out team A, team B, and then the answer that you want to do, go with straight away. Okay, are you all ready? Let's bring up the bonus question. What number of 10-year-old American girls have been on a diet? A, 50%, B, 80%? B, team B, I mean, and it's B. You're correct. Naomi wins it, boom. Well done, one wow. point. <laughs> that should give me free pants. <laughs> That's a depressing going. stat. That's a depressing stat. It is. Oh, sad, sad. Okay, so at the end of round one, Team B take the lead with two points to one. Congratulations. How do you think we all did that? Did we all learn a little something? I mean, I didn't know that I would need a PhD in uh, biology and um, transportation management services uh, <laughs> and American history, but like that's, this is good. This is very humbling. I appreciate it. Bit of general knowledge in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go on with some more fun games now so we can um, bring those points back up. It's time for us to go head to head with round two. Now, team A, you get to choose which game we're going to play first of all, and then both games, will, both teams will play it, and then team B, you'll get your options as well. So if you are in team A, that's anybody in the audience whose name begins with A through to K. These are the games that you get to choose from. Charades, Heads Up, Pictionary, Objectify, Word Search, and Hangman. I'm sure you're all familiar with Charades. Heads Up is a guessing game that we use an app on the phone. Pictionary, I'm sure you're all familiar with. Objectify is a memory game where you have to memorize some objects you'll see on the screen. Word Search is a word game, and then Hangman is also another word game. I'm all played with your team captain, who is Noel. You've met him already. So team A, which game is it going to be? Please answer in the poll in your screens right now and then we'll get playing. Team A will take the lead and play first of all. And then when we go to it again, second time round, when team B decide, team B will play first. Oh, 50-50 oh, oh, right now between Shiraz and Hangman. Anybody else gonna pick all oh, Pictionary? Oh. Okay, well, there we have it. Um, it's a split decision between Shiraz and Hangman. So I guess, Noel, you get to decide between Shiraz okay. and Hangman. Uh, let's go with uh, charades. That sounds yes. really fun. Okay, fantastic. All right, um, we're gonna send you a couple of films. Um, I'm gonna do that just right now. And then you can choose um, a few of these films. You can start with the top and you're gonna have um, two minutes to act out as many as you can within this time. Okay, and you're sending them via the chat? I'm gonna send them to you via the chat, exactly. Okay. Um, so personally via the chat, so everybody bear with me. Um, and there they are. So I'll get the timer ready, and then you can, you know all of the standard charades things, don't you? Uh, yeah, I should. Um, okay, so should well, I? Well, like, they're all a film. You know how many words? 
And if you want yeah. to do syllables, you do your syllables on your elbow if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way. So I can just choose. I can just choose whichever ones I want from here. Yes, you can. Okay. You can choose whichever ones you want, and you've got two minutes to get as many of them as possible. So everybody on team A, if you want to unmute your microphones, because you can shout out the answer. So remember, everybody on team A is people whose name begins with A through to the letter K. So Jeffrey, you are on team A. You just said in the chat, oh no, I'm, I'm oh, you, oh, oh, I'm on. I thought you said, oh no, I'm not on team A. But you no, are I'm on not. team A. <laughs> okay, so everybody on team A, get ready. Your time starts now. Okay. Uh, Four words. Nice. Okay. First okay. word. Back. Back. Nice. Fine. Back. Back to the future. Yay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, Four words. King. First word. Oh, Uh, it, never, never mind. We're moving on. Okay. Pass. <laughs> Pass. Second. Two words. <clears throat> First Perfect. word. Driving. Miss Daisy. No. Oh, Chilling. Riding. <laughs> Taxi driver. Nailed it. Nice. Ah. Okay. Um, I'm killing it here. Five, five words. words. First word. Okay. Three. Second word. Ring. Three, three weddings and a funeral or something like that. Nailed it. Yeah. Okay. Two words. 40 seconds left. Small, the, it, uh, it. Rain, sky, heaven, dancing, ceiling, praying. Pray to God. Second, Second word. Second. Ten seconds. Um. It happened, it birthed, it creation. <laughs> Godfather. That was hard. Oh, yeah. good. Good job. That's amazing. Amazing. I thought you were giving birth or something there at the end. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the the father. Going on. Father gives, you know, but it, it was the mother. So but well done, team A there. Three points. Congratulations. So, Bravo. Well done. Okay. Andrew, are you ready? Uh I hope so. That that was quite impressive. That last one seemed impossible. <laughs> the Godfather? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to send you um, some games. Um, I'm going to send you some now. So there we are. Okay, so everybody on Team A, if you can mute your microphones, and then Team B, you can unmute your microphones. Um, so you are ready to play. Okay. Andrew, I sent you some of the films. Yep. You can choose Proceed. one. And your time starts now. Well, I'm skipping the first one because that's impossible, but we're going to the second. House. Home. Home Alone 2. Yeah, home alone. Home alone. Home alone. <laughs> home alone. Um, home alone. <laughs> yeah, next one. Wedding ring. Wedding. Wedding, Wedding crashes. crashes. Wedding crashes. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Oh, that's a good one. Um, next one. Cry. Pretty woman. Yes. That's, that's <laughs> good. Uh, um, okay, next one. Fight Rocky. Raging Rocky. Bull. Raging Bull. Rocky. Boom. All right, here we go. Okay, next one. For one minute. Shark. Jaws. Jaws. Boom. Jaws, too. 
Uh, this is too easy. Uh, <laughs> next one. Oh, crap. Now go to the hard ones. <coughs> New one. How do you do this? Five words. Five words. Stop. Uh, oh. Silence Silence the lamps. Lamps. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a lot of fun. Right, we've, got we've got two left. Uh, ooh, can't really do that one. Oh, we're kind of I think I'll just take the win with that. Retire. <laughs> we already won. <laughs> I'm not even going to try the others. I'll tell you what they are just out of curiosity. Go on, you've got to try them. Really? All right, fine. Uh, <laughs> Seven words. words. Aliens, <laughs> upside down, looking, eyes, goggles, Batman, Ghost Zora. Shape, the shape of water, goggles, <laughs> that time, Harry Potter and the oh. something something, the chamber of secrets, <laughs> the, chamber of secrets. <laughs> and the other one was 12 years ago, I didn't know how to either, so, should I put a Z on your head, well done mate, oh, nice man. Man. I didn't know Andrew was going to have a bunch of psychics on his team. <laughs> oh, they were great clues, mate. Everyone knows this one, right? <laughs> so we had Jaws, Silence of the Lambs, Rocky, Pretty Woman, Wedding Crashes, and Home Alone. You got six, Team B. Congratulations. That makes up for the trivia. <laughs> All right, Team B, you could decide which games we're going to play now. So we're going to see that list of games on the screen for you once again. And please enter in the polls what you want to play. Shiraz, heads up, Pictionary, Objectify, Word Search, or Hangman. What's it going to be? Oh, seems like your team are uh, indecisive, Andrew. They can't decide. Uh, at the moment, we've got Objectify and Pictionary. Oh, oh. Objectify, Pictionary, and um, Heads Up. They're your three options. So <laughs> you get to decide, Andrew. I'm going to give a uh, heads up a go. Heads up? Yep. Okay. Well, uh, Team B get to go first. And heads up, if you've not played it before, is a game a bit like the um, charades, but you're just going to see a, an animal on the, on, the, on the phone in front of you. So I'll ask Andrew to get nice and close to the laptop so everybody can see that. And Team B, uh, if you want to pin your team captain, you can hover over the picture, click on the three little blue dots that you can see in the top right hand corner. And then you, you can click on that and it says pin video. So you can see Andrew nice and clearly on your screen. Um, you have one minute within this game and everybody in your team have got to shout out um, a description of what is on your phone screen without actually saying the word that it is. And if you get it correctly, Andrew, you get a point. And of course, as many points as you can get within the one minute goes down onto the scoreboard. So, are you ready? All right, sorting animals, right? Yeah, we're doing animals. Okay. So, everybody on Team B, please unmute your microphones. Team A, keep your mute microphones muted. You're playing? Yeah. It's upside down. It's upside a down. Baby. It brings a baby. Hold on, is it upside down? <laughs> Yeah, turn it's your phone the other way. All right. Well, that just... Oh. New clue? It's the new popular animal. The emperor's like new group. Oh, no, an alpaca. Not an alpaca. It's yeah. that uh, you. A llama. Yeah. Yay. What do I do now? Yeah. I lift it. That's right. Down? Yeah. It's okay. A humpback. Whale. Okay, but a color before that. A blue Not whale. Black. Not black or white. <laughs> orca. <laughs> orca. <laughs> In between in black and white. Between black and white, yeah. Gray whale. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes? All right, next one. Okay. Not a cow, but a... Uh, an Nay. ox. Uh, water buffalo. Nay. <laughs> a horse? Yeah, a what do they wear on their feet? Ah, oh. crap. Next one. Thumbs up. But you got two there that still. Was hard. That was hard. That was the last one. That was horseshoe crab. Excuse me? <laughs> horseshoe crab. Okay, that, that one should never have been in the list. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, still two points to Team B, so congratulations right. there. I'm going to reward uh, myself with the Mandarin. All right, time for... Um, team A to see if they can pull some more points back into the game. Are you ready, Noel? 
Yeah, and they, they have to just pin the, what's the thing about pinning the... Um, yeah, so anybody who wants to pin your video can go to the th three blue dots that are in the top right-hand corner of Noel's screen. If you have a, hover your cursor over it, you'll see that. Click on that, and then you can click on pin video. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll get Noel nice and big in your screens. Um, so everybody on Team A, please unmute. Everybody on Team B, please mute. And we're ready when you are. Oh, here, wait. Okay, one second. Uh, one second. It already started. Chinchilla. That's what we had, guys. Well done. Too hard. Well done. Okay. All right. Tell me if this is working. Yeah. It's working. Okay. It's upside, it's upside down. down. Upside down. Like a squirrel. Oh, Good no, month. different one. Never mind. Yeah, but now it changed. Eight arms under the Eight sea. Eight octopus. Yes. Flip. Flip it. Do, Do it again. again no. Somebody help out here. <laughs> a squirrel. <laughs> hey. uh, uh, it's like a, you, you shuck it and suck it and eat it raw. Uh, corn. Crawl, pull off its head. Uh, oh, you uh, with sauce. Shrimp. Louisiana. Shrimp. Crawfish. Yes. Flip. Oh, most popular the Mayans, fish. The Mayans, <laughs> um, lays eggs. You eat the eggs every day with bacon. Uh, chickens. Yes, flip. Mm. Flip it again. Oh, time's up. Time's up. Good well, job. In the nick of time, we did it. You guys. Did and you got three there, so congratulations. Hey. Team Amazing. <laughs> just, just enough. Yeah. Well done. Okay, well, it's time now for the bonus question. So let's see how we do with that. Remember, anybody watching can unmute their microphones and then shout out Team A or Team B and the answer as quickly as they can. All right, what does PTSD stand for? Naomi, traumatic stress disorder. Play B. I, I heard Naomi there, but I didn't hear the answer. I'll go with A before a. I heard it. You will be correct, and I'm guessing hey. Naomi, you're on Team B. So uh, I actually we traded Naomi to Team A just <laughs> right before that happened. So I guess that's Team A's win. But well done. <laughs> nice try. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well done, uh, Team B. There, another point going on the leaderboard. But we do have one more round now, and this is our time tower. In this round, our two team captains get to go heads to heads themselves and build the tallest tower that they possibly can in the shortest amount of time. Now, I asked them to bring with them a couple of bits of equipment to our game today. I asked them to bring six pens, some tape or um, some rubber bands, whichever they had to hand, a pair of gloves, yeah. small sanitizer, and also a chocolate or a cookie of some kind. Got it, got it all here. Got it all there? Right, yeah. so if you'd like to adjust your camera so we can see the table that you are making your magic on, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you to both of you. Remember that the quickest time wins and you have to use all of the ingredients all of the equipment that i brought there apart from the tape the tape is actually there to help you build the tower some people have wanted to use the tape as actually part of the tower building but the tape is that or the other bands are there to actually help you build the tower so if you're ready with everything in front of you so use everything and build it as high as possible in as quick as time possible. And the Done. cookie has got to balance on the top for three seconds before we can stop the timer. Hold on, hold on. Does Noel have gloves? Bang. Oh, right. Okay. So you both have to put the, uh, did I forget that you have to put the gloves on and build oh. the tower? Oh, oh gloves sorry, good? I forgot to tell oh, you that a little bit on. then. Okay. To be clear, there's no way this thing is balancing up on the top. That's okay though. Maybe I'll tape it up there. <laughs> all right, all right. That's a very tiny little piece of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Just gonna roll off. 
Oh, good balance in between. I like hey. those uh, chocolates though, good choice. Hold on, I'm still trying to get my damn gloves on. <laughs> Some nice surgical gloves there, Andrew. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. I'll do. I feel like OJ Simpson. <laughs> How do you have these surgical gloves? Well, to be honest, I visited my mum. She's having a knee replacement. And uh, I said, mum, I need this, this, and this. <laughs> mum pulled, pulled the goods out. I, don't, I don't, actually don't have any of this. <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. Thank you to your mum. Okay. All right. Are we all ready to go? Yeah, Team A, are ready. you ready? So hold on. It's, a, it's build a tower and then hang the chocolate on it. On the top, yeah. It's gotta be, it's okay. gotta be there for three seconds before we stop the timer. And the person who does it in the quickest amount of time using all of the ingredients, all of the equipment wins. Got it. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready, Team B? Yes. Okay, your time starts now. Mm. Hello, Andrew. Do it. All right. Don't you believe in you. Guy, bring it. Do I mean, either of you have any strategies? Uh, no, not yeah. really. Like, uh, I've lost the lid. I'm just worried about Brooke's mum <laughs> without her equipment. She's all right. <laughs> I know. Uh, hold on. Are you, are you with her now, Andrew? Am I what, sorry? Are you with your mum now or, or no, is she no. in the hospital? No, she's all right. She's just had to uh, delay. Here we go. I think I've Stop got this. Stop distracting him. Yep. Oh, where's the sanitizer? It's under the little bottle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Stop. Does that count? Oh, my goodness. Quickest time tower ever. 49 seconds there. Well done. Well done. How Noel, cool how are you getting on? Yeah, no. I mean, you're now just living the dream over here, to be honest. Uh, this is magic i don't know can you guys see this this is like real. Let's, let's keep going keep going mate let's see how it's no finished job. you've done it it's the chocolate's perfect. in it it's perfect <laughs> like this is like literally michelangelo himself built this you guys <laughs> <laughs> this is just balancing perfectly Put in the green green. Green. well so done all to do with the pens that you brought but well done both of you um, really quick time towers uh you know i've done some of these in our recorded sessions and they've come in at like past the three minute mark so for 49 seconds i'm very very impressed <laughs> and your prize is that you get to eat the chocolate on the top <laughs> oh, nice but actually what i would like to do to say thank you to both our team captains uh is to send you a my intent bracelet we're on my intent this is the platform um who are providing us with the ability to bring Game On Show to you and I can make you both a bracelet. So if you want to choose a word that is going to empower you and help you in some way, shape or form, I'll, I'll make you both a bracelet. And if anybody in the audience um, wants one as well, then, then let me know. You'll have to let me know all your details of address. But seeing as this is the last episode, I'll be happy to, to make anybody um, one of those as well. So thank you. Can to my everybody. team make a suggestion on yeah. what word I could have or should use or choose? Well, some people have um, uh, trust. Some people might go with calm. So it's whatever you want to <laughs> life or have there to, to sort of empower you. It's something you might want to do with your time. One thing that Chris Pan, who's the CEO and founder of My Intent, says is that you might wear your watch on your left hand so you can see the time, but you might wear your intention and what you want to do with your time on your right hand. So you could have it in that way. Um, it's entirely up to you. It could be you want to bring more love or abundance into your life. You know, you could even have your um, Bondi party on there as well as, you know, to manifest and bring in. Um, some good things in that way. So it's entirely up to you. Well, thank you. I'll have a think. Yeah. Well, have, a, have a think, let me know. And if anybody else wants that too, then just pop it in the chat for me and I'll have to get your, your details. Um, so thank you so much to both of you. This has been such fun. I hope everybody in the audience has enjoyed it. Congratulations to Team B who have taken the lead in the end with 13 points to eight. If anyone's got any questions for our team captains, feel free to unmute and ask them a little question right now. 
And while they are asking questions, I just want TMA to know that I eat this chocolate for all of you for your generous support. Thank you. <laughs> My question is, um, are those um, pen sculptures for sale? <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Okay, thank you. But I will give them to you for free. Ch chocolate not included. <laughs> this was great and so fun. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Lee. Thank you for, for joining in. It's been great to have you all with us on the team. Um, and if you want to see any of the recorded episodes that we've done as well, then you can see those on our game on Instagram or on YouTube as well. If you want to take a look at our Instagram to see who we've had on already, then you can find us at game on underscore show on Instagram and they're all there on IGTV. Um, there's all our different handles as well for game on underscore show on Twitter or just game on show on Facebook as well. We have had uh, lots of different people on. We've had musicians, we've had actors, producers, we had a Formula E racing champion on um, in episode two. So you can watch them all, they're all there available. And if you want to follow Andrew or Noel and hear more about the work that they're doing, then their Instagram handles are there for you both as well. Got, oh, at Noelicious, number one, um, executive coach and obviously doing everything virtually, you can do it wherever in the world you are. And then we also have MacIver um, there too. So you can follow Andrew and his party pants, which I like to call them, <laughs> um, and all of his ventures as an actor, a host and producer in Australia. Are you planning to come back over to the States um, next year? Hope I say next year because um, you're not allowed this year, <laughs> I'm guessing. Yeah, I'd love to come regularly. That's always been the plan, particularly uh this time of year when it's a bit cooler here, but uh, I can only hope that, that the dust settles over there with everything that's going on, both with uh, various riots and the pandemic. So I can really hope that I'll see you guys in person soon. Yeah, I was hoping to come over to Australia at the end of the year as well, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen now. Don't well, January, February, the best months to, to visit Sydney. So much fun, the weather's perfect, everyone's having fun, barbecues, boating, surf. So hopefully things settle by then and you can visit. Well, it was for a wedding, my cousin's wedding, so um, yeah. We'll see whether um, we're allowed. We'll see what happens, I guess. It's, um, it's an uncertain times, but, uh, but we'll get through it together. That's what these games are all for, just to bring the community together. So thank you for being part of it, both of you. Do you have something coming up, Noel, that you want to share with the audience? Well, the main thing coming up was, I think, the question that Nancy asked, is Andrew single? And uh, I was sensing some deep chemistry between them during this game. So I just wanted to put that out into the space um, and let Andrew speak to that. Well, fun, funnily enough to ask, I actually met a lovely lady in LA this time last year and she moved out here just before COVID, before lockdown. So she's still here. There we are. There we are. Um, but uh, to, answer, to answer your question. She doesn't have a choice. <laughs> to answer your question, um, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely, I run trainings. Um, I'll put that up on uh, the website and and on the Instagram, and then if someone, if anyone on here does really seriously want like a session, especially if they were on team A, but if you were on team B, just tell me you're on team A, I'll give you a free session. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, thank you, Louise, really appreciate being here, it's super fun. Yeah, thank you to you as well, and thank you to both of you. Andrew, I hope your mom feels um, well again soon with her knee. Please mm. say hi to the lovely lady in your life, um, and hopefully, We'll get to see you both soon and hopefully we'll get to enjoy some more fun and games with you all if we bring the game on back to my intent in the future. But maybe you'll come over to the platform and join us there and we can chat um, virtually via the powers that be on all of these different social media handles. Thank you so much to everybody once again for joining us, whether it's just today or at any point during the My Intent live series. It's been wonderful to be here and, and such a pleasure to, to host this series for you all. Thanks again for joining. The game is now on.